Oh, levels are near and we have to revise efficiently to do well in the exam and now we are going to analyze this chapter of pressure in physics and we are going to go through what are the important things, concepts you have to keep in mind before you go to the exam so, so that you do well. Okay, let's start with. So pressure is not a very difficult chapter, it's an easy concept, underlying two or three formulas and if you just understand everything properly you're going to do well. So the most basic formula is the basic formula of pressure and its relationship with force and area. So how pressure is given by force divided by area, what is the unit of force, what is the unit of area and also uh, what is the unit of pressure which is pascals and they'll give you different problems where you have a force and they give you an area and you have to find out the pressure or why does a woman's heel exert more pressure than a man's shoe all that kind of question second one is the pressure of a liquid of a certain density at a certain depth so if you are say example is if you are 10 meters underneath a swimming pool what is the pressure exerted on you due to the column of water above you so the relationship h rho g where you have to remember that rho is the density of the liquid and you have to understand what that means and on the another point is the measurement of pressure using a liquid column so for example using mercury in a barometer how can the height of the mercury actually tell us what's the atmospheric pressure and then we have the transmission pressure to a liquid so when you apply pressure to a confined liquid why how it is transmitted uh, without uh, being diminished and and how you can use it to lift higher weights um, greater weights using smaller forces so basically once we are going to touch each of these problems uh, each of these four different concepts with a problem each so that you have a clear understanding when you go for the exam